What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here we are with another reaction. And in this one we have, did ancient India have poor living standards? Like what do we in ancient India, when they had one third of the world's uh, one third of the world's GDP? Couldn't have been then, so after. I don't know. We're going to find out in this video. If you guys would like to support the channel by becoming a member, all you got to do is hit that join button to receive your exclusive benefits. Let's find out what question we're asked. We all know our GDP was more than 33% of the world's GDP yes. at least, maybe more. But what about our per capita ah. GDP? Do you think that was a boastful number too, given how this land has always had a huge population? That's a good question. That's Interesting a really good question. question. So, uh, India, see, if you look at the uh, statistics, the data that uh, Angus Madison, the economist, uh, put forth, uh, you will see that according to his calculations, projections, which is the gold standard in uh, the economic history of the world, according okay. to his calculations, India always had a GDP of at least one third of the world's GDP. That's crazy. Until the 1700s, at which time our GDP dropped very precipitously because of the British destruction of India's economy and the country. Yes. Now, India's population, if we look at the population of history of India, India's population was typically, um, when the British left India, undivided India had a population of approximately between 300 and 350 million, which is, How? if it was 300 million, it is one fourth of what India's population is today. Right? Yeah. And if you look at the large scale history of India, so let's go back a few thousand years. Okay. If you go back about to around so if, the, if the population was smaller and y'all had more of the world's GDP, then I would assume that everybody, they, everybody was living good in India. Everybody was Gucci. Everybody was living nice. You feel me? Everybody was put up. Uh, I would just say everybody, it seems like everybody would be doing well for themselves According to the numbers. Again, I could be wrong. We're going to listen to the rest of the uh, answer. But to me, it just, I just assumed that everybody was doing pretty good. 1000 BC or 3500 BC, we had the Sapta Sindhu civilization, Sapta Sindhu phase of India's civilization, the Saraswati Sindhu phase of India's civilization, with the, which the Western people call the Indus Valley civilization or the Harappan civilization, which is nothing but one phase of India's civilization. So if you go back to that time, India was demonstrably demonstrably the most technologically advanced culture in the world a fully industrialized fully urbanized civilization with the highest technology available at that time anywhere in the world Dang. and at that time i can guarantee that india's gdp would have exceeded half the world's gdp and at that time it is calculated it is estimated that india's population was around five million five million can't be can't be dog can't be you're telling me this this is what i'm hearing right now ancient india we talk about what 2500 bc is that what you somewhere around that time they were the most techno technologically advanced country advanced people He's assuming that they had over half the world's GDP, over half, in a country of, with a population of 5 million people. Everybody would be doing absolutely gorgeously. Bro, can you imagine over half the GDP, world's GDP in a country of 5 million people? That's, that's, I can't even fathom, like, my brain can't even, can't even fathom that. That's wild. Not 300 million, not 1.4 billion, which we are reaching today. It was merely 5 million. So more than half the world's GDP, 4, 5 million people. Can you imagine the per capita GDP? Which we I can't even imagine. I literally so, uh, can't even imagine. So we have to put things in perspective. This is a very interesting question. I mean, I wish that people would think more along these lines. Yeah. So we have to look at what the population was like from the best estimates that uh, historians and scholars have. Mm -hmm. So the best estimate for India's population uh, during the Saraswati Sindhu phase was about 5 million people. And That's India's insane. GDP was 
more than 50% of the world's GDP, for sure. <laughs> Maybe two-thirds of the world's GDP, because that's how advanced oh India was. God. So the per capita GDP would have been ridiculously high, more than any other country even today. Yeah, yeah. So these are not boastful numbers. The numbers are actually under representations of what India would actually be, India's GDP would actually be. Because even if you look at the data that Angus Madison has put forth, there are all there are a number of assumptions and oversimplifications that are not quite accurate when it comes to India. So even the data for the last 2000 years, which says that India was about one third of the world's GDP is kind of an under representation what, of what in, it actually would have been. One third of the world's GDP is the under representation. Is like underrepresented. It's like no, India had more than half. It'd be more fair to say two thirds of the world GDP and a population of five million people, bro. Everybody had to be rich. Everybody had to be rich. Everybody was comfortable. And God, the India, like I can't even imagine. I just want to see. How much of the world's population you guys got now with 1.4 billion or approaching 1.4 billion people? This. Seven point five nine percent. And that's with 1.4 billion. I want to see how much does the U.S. own. U.S. has around 25% in a land of over 300 million people. So we are talking about over half of the world's GDP in a land of 5 million. I, it's just, bro, like my days. Yeah, they would have had to be so much more advanced than everybody else. That's that's mind-blowing. Yeah, my brain can't even imagine. My even in the last 2,000 years, the actual data the actual gdp of india would have been closer to i would say 40 to 45 percent of the actual of the entire world's gdp most likely more likely so that's what i can offer but in the past uh before zero ad or zero bc whatever you call it yeah india's economy was even more advanced and uh, the per capita gdp would have been really really high my brain can't even wrap itself around that statement. That's truly something. That's a spectacle to behold. That's a marvel. That's, oh my God. Like, bro. I don't know what, to, I'm speechless. Let me know what you guys think about that. How do you guys feel about that? Um, sheesh. <laughs> Y'all had it all. Y'all had all the money. All of it. That's that's all we got. Um, I'm very intrigued to hear what you guys say in the comment section on that one. That was a mind-blowing video. Um, the, you guys, please don't forget to subscribe. Get a video a thumbs up and check out the next one. I'll see you guys next time.